chapter 6, Elliptical Gravitation and the Hyperbolic Geometry of the Heavens. Each geometric form, ideologically conceived as a non-Euclidean medium or space, has by force and rational necessity a specific coefficient of relativity by which all places or enclosures are ordered within said continuum. Despite the characteristic variation of this in the same metric identity through the potential G of convexity. These potentials, which in their natural order are no more than 10, are the elements that take the sui generis form of the coefficient. It is the coefficient par excellence, or the essential part of the covariation ad infinitum within each continuum, that is, within each specific form of space. Thus, the three-dimensional extension depends on the G and is expressed as a sensitive function of them. It is very clear, on the other hand, that these potentials of convexities, that these potentials of convexity, when applied to the natural environment, are then contained in that structure as the firm subject of all cosmic determinations in their infinite variation since it is what is contained in itself as the physical state called mass negative km c square v for example means depending on the place it occupies in the covariant equation which is to say depending on the place of the continuum an amplitude or a reduction of the mass in compensation for a reduction or an amplitude of the space that expresses it this is a smaller space that, that is a smaller pa smaller space is contained within a broader more intense mass this being of course what lasts or remains through the expression of the three-dimensional sensitive subject however the kinetic capacity of space is a property dependent on its own internal state of mass of its mass but this capacity however is a static property that allows space its own acceleration and by which any movement introduced into it the rhythm of a clock for example can be slower or faster depending on whether that mass as we have said is larger or smaller the rhythm of a clock is then an effect and not a function of mass a circumstance external to the environment that is foreign to it never has a fourth term intimate and essentially included in the cosmic nature of the place while mass does because it expresses the inner physical state of the three-dimensional continuum then between the three geometric dimensions and the scalar factor of mass there is a functional determination by which these four terms are expressed as a single whole before reason and conscious mass is therefore Without sensible projective, what's best and most logical, what's most logically it can receive. Mass is therefore, without sensible projective, what's best and most logically it can receive from the cosmic point of view, the name of time. And in fact, it means that the rhythm T apostrophe introduced into the three-dimensional continuum whose mass is m becomes slower and marks of course a wider interval in accordance that is with the internal state of the field or space as the rhythm is produced by its own motor arranged by the hand of man if we make another more accelerated one and introduce it into the same medium it will have this math problem that I'm not gonna read. From this it follows that T is greater than T apostrophe parentheses or that it expresses a longer time. As can be seen, the same reduction coefficient which characterizes the continuum has produced two rhythmic amplitudes in the effect of an accommodation to the medium. But these effects T and T parentheses 
are nothing but the modifications of the intervals or periods and t apostrophe and with t two apostrophes it is understood then with an irresistible force of logic that those movements cannot be except in the measure that the coefficient allows it on the other hand all movement is verified in time and by the kinetic capacity that contains it and is measurable for a conventional period that is to say that every three-dimensional space in the continuum is nothing more than the expression of kinetic capacity as a static content of time but since every field is nothing more than a content of its own internal physical state it is then concluded in accordance with what we have said that mass in its mass is in itself that cosmic factor par excellence time or at least what can best and most logically receive this name time or at least what can best most logically receive this name all this is understood by the coefficient which is a function of the mass and the same as g it's the essential part of the three-dimensional variation and what is expressed through the geometric coordinates as the soul in which is contained the field of space time then is not a separate factor linked to space as a fourth term to generate Minkowski's four dimensionality and which Einstein was based for the conception of his great relativistic theory these potential G of the geometric convexity of the spaces deduced from their intimate essence constitute the functional element of the ad infinitum covariation of the purely three-dimensional it is a variation that has no end but it but is specified within a constant geometric shape expressed by the formal structure of g thus each geometry will have its specific shape for these convexity potentials different geometric shapes have therefore different and incompatible rel relativities the potential g of the elliptic convexity is as will be seen much later in the course of this work equal to one very different compared to that of the hyperbolic form that's to say the hyperbolic form in which the heavens are contained is incompatible with elliptical gravitation surrounding the great cosmic concentrations this incompatibility of relativism or different geometric forms is the supreme key to the universal centrifuge remember above in the course of this work the elliptical gravitation around the great cosmic concentrations investigated by us frankly in the geometric reality of the space produced by a single star abstracted from the rest of the stars does not cease to have although very remotely a certain support in the elliptical conceptual mechanics of the wise mathematician Jose Isaac Corral of the academies of science of Havana and Madrid in this chapter it has also been demonstrated as the reader will have noticed that space-time or Minkowski's four-dimensional continuum is not a content of reality but rather the pure covariant three-dimensional expressed as a single whole